Hey students, I hope you're doing really well today. Um, I know that a lot of you are probably anxious and waiting to hear on the update on the course. And um, I just wanna let you know that for now, I am gonna continue being your instructor. Um, and please just don't hesitate if you need to reach out and ask any questions or come by my office in Dalpiez um, or have a conversation with me. I'm more than happy to do that. Um, I know that you guys have done so well with um, being flexible and understanding and um, just continue to keep uh, Ms. Coderre in your thoughts and prayers as she continues to get better. Um, I just completed all of the grading on your descriptive essays. And I wanted to, to just touch on a few things. Um, first of all, you all did a remarkable job. Um, I was so engaged and loved hearing your stories and your narratives and just really appreciative of um, some of you in particular, <coughs> just your bravery in sharing your stories. Um, but I wanna really talk about purpose and um, guys, purpose is different for every type of essay that we write. And for a descriptive essay, um, really, the title of the genre is the purpose. The point is to describe. Um, some of you got so caught up sometimes in trying to get through the story that you miss those moments of deep and meaningful description. Um, and what I mean by that is instead of just telling me what your mom said, you could have written it in a direct quote and described what her facial expressions looked like as she was saying that. Um, instead of telling me that you walked into a room, you could share what kind of room it was. What did it look like? What did the wallpaper have on it? Um, and I know that those seem like such small nuances, but when we think about a descriptive essay, that's really the point. The point is to immerse the reader. Um, and by using your five senses, what are they hearing, tasting, seeing, smelling, feeling, um, and some of you just got so wrapped up in the emotion and your intrinsic feelings um, that some of that got lost. And so I really wanted to hit on that just as a uh, point of feedback. The second thing I really want you to consider is point of view. I and mean, then when we talk about point of view, there's first, second, and third person. And, you know, for this descriptive essay, a lot of you uh, should have been writing in first and third person. You were sharing your experiences in first person. And then you could be talking about other people and other characters, and that would be what we considered third person. But some of you are using what we call second person language. And that pertains to words like you, you are, your. And what that does is you're putting the reader into the experience and you're putting things on the reader and addressing the reader instead of sharing your own experience in the essay. Um, so instead of saying, um, when I walked into the room, there was an immediate sense of joy. Um, and instead, what you did is you said, it's like if you walked into the room and you sensed immediate joy. Um, you basically tried to take the reader um, and put them into your experience. And so going into this next essay, I really want you to strive uh, to eliminate some of that, those word choices, the you, your, and you are. Um, and just an easy tip is when you're in your Word document, go to the search bar. I mean, you can type those words in to see places you use them and you can edit them. Um, I also want to talk a little bit about the compare and contrast essay that you're going into next week. Um, I read over some of your short examples and uh, you did a great job, but I did want to hit on a couple things. When we talk about a compare and contrast essay, um, it's more than a simple comparison. We have to go into a deeper meaning. Um, so for example, Maybe uh, the compare and contrast, and I know this isn't what you guys are writing about. This is just uh, a tangible example I can give you. Uh, perhaps the deeper meaning is, do you do online school or do you do face-to-face -face option? And a thesis statement, it's not simply enough to say those two things are different. Um, a thesis goes beyond the comparison and a thesis explains why those similarities and differences are important. What, what is the purpose of the comparison? Why does it even matter? Uh, so maybe your thesis statement is while there are some similarities and differences in online versus face-to-face -face learning, 
It is very important that a student understands those differences to ensure that they are getting the best education um, that fits with their individual needs. Okay, what that does is it does give you a point of comparison, but it also creates a sense of an argument almost of this is why that comparison is so important. Um, and, and you can even go a step further to say students need to realize that online learning is the most flexible option in a day and age where students have so many obligations pulling at them. Again, it's a deeper meaning to that comparison. So when you're writing this essay and when you're going back and you're revising, I really want you to ask yourself, what's the deeper message of this comparison? Why does this comparison matter? Uh, the next thing I wanna to talk to you about is sentence structure. And I know that in your quizzes this week, you've been going over comma slices and fragments and run on sentences. I want you to really read your paper out loud, okay? And do this with your peers as you're reviewing their essay too. Read it out loud, listen to it, listen to your individual sentence structures and ask yourself, where does this sentence need to stop? And where does another one pick up? Um, a lot of you had some comma splice, some fragments, some run on airs in your last paper. And I want you to really focus on those structures in this next essay. We've already talked about point of view and eliminating some of those you, you are, and your word choices. And the last thing I wanna talk to you about is organization. Um, Mrs. Uh, Couder gave you a couple options. And if you go to your textbook and you look at um, alternating pattern and opposing pattern, um, it'll give you really tangible ways in how to do that, whether um, whether to do uh, attack one and then attack the other, or whether to do it point by point where you're discussing the topics in those comparisons. But the big thing that I want you to remember is organization matters. Um, it's so important and pivotal in a compare and contrast to ask yourself, does this organization make sense? Am I really diving into the topics and giving the reader a full flesh comparison? Um, and if you have questions about those different patterns, please reach out to me. Um, and the last thing that I wanna offer up, uh, your paper is due next Thursday and that's gonna be March 24th. If you would like to schedule a Zoom with me, on the 21st, 22nd, or 23rd to read over your paper with you on Zoom. And just to give you some feedback, um, I'd love to offer that up to you in addition to the feedback that you're getting from your peers. Um, just send me an email at ltdupree um, at gaston.edu, or you can give me a call at 704-685-1007, and I'll be glad to schedule that appointment with you. Keep up the great work. Um, please reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns as you're reviewing your past essays. If you have any questions about those comments, I'll be glad to go over that with you, and uh, let's make it another great week. Continue to finish strong.